there are a lot of amazing VS Code themes out there. I've used a bunch myself, like Cobalt 2, Night Owl, Dracula. I just did a video on Midnight Synth, so many others. But have you ever seen the worst VS Code theme ever recorded? I'm gonna show you that now. What's up everyone, my name is James Q. Quick, and I do weekly videos on web development related topics, including a lot of videos on VS Code. I even have a free cheat sheet on VS Code if you wanna check out the link in the description below. And I've done lots of videos on extensions and configurations and themes, and I get lots of questions about what themes I use in my VS Code, and I use a lot, some of the ones I've already mentioned. But have you ever seen the worst VS Code theme ever? Well, let's take a look and I'll show you. All right, so I'm in VS Code with the source code for the JQQ meme project. You can actually check this out at jqqmemes.com where you can create a meme of me from random freeze frames of my video. It's kind of cool, I thought it was fun to share. Anyway, this is the code and this is actually the Midnight Synth theme. So I uh, have recently installed this theme. I did a video on this that you can check out. And uh, I wanna show you the worst one ever. And I'll just get right into it. Like I don't need to hold us back too much. It is the hot dog stand theme. And as you can see, as we open this up, it's pretty gross and I'll switch over to this in a second. So that is one of the grossest themes, uh, actually the grossest themes I've ever seen. So let's go to color theme and let's go to hot dog. And how ridiculous is this this bright red it makes my eyes hurt honestly it probably made your i probably should have given you like some sort of warning like shield your eyes when i switch over to this but it's got this really bright red and then the the high contrast like yellow and then when you select stuff it does this whole like yellow block where you can't even read the code this is one of the most ridiculous things ever so that's kind of fun and entertaining and i want to uh, tell you why i actually had this installed why would i ever actually use this well, on my streams on Twitch, I have commands set up for people to be able to redeem points as they watch my Twitch stream, James Q Quick, by the way, where they can change my theme inside of VS Code. And let me open up a tab here to my GitHub and uh, let me just find this project really quickly. I'll show you the source code where I actually toggle between that theme. So I think this is my stream utils. And inside of this stream utils, I have a function under source for uh, VS Code and it will have a function inside of it to change the themes. So what I do is I have an array of themes here. You can see all the amazing ones that I use in Shades of Purple, Cobalt 2, Night Owl, Dracula, Level Up, Level Up Syntax, Code Stacker, Hot Dog, Stand, and Fortnite as well. And then uh, from there, what I do to set a random theme is I grab the settings, um, from the, let's see, when do I grab the settings? I grab the settings from the actual settings file inside of VS Code. So I load that into memory. I then find the setting for the workbench color theme. I grab a random index of a theme, get the theme, and then I update the config, and then I write that back to the file system in VS Code. So this is kind of fun because a lot of people who watch my streams like to try to set this to a random theme, and they're usually kind of hoping to see hot dog theme just because it's fun and funny but it's not very useful for actually writing code. So if you're looking for a theme to actually write code, do not use hot dog stand theme, but it is kind of fun to share as the worst VS Code theme ever. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. If you've seen any worse VS Code themes or if you wanna share your favorite VS Code theme, make sure to throw that in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe to the channel, all the things. Hopefully I can see you again in more videos. In the meantime, thanks for checking it out and I'll catch you later.